Now, who else would they ever have gotten to host a segment on hairstyling than Pat? Huh? I agree. Don't you think? I was just thinking that. Is this short that. enough for you? Yes. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I almost was going to use you as my model today. <laughs> <laughs> Brenda, you're so master stylist. And let's talk about, though, some of the familiar people that everybody knows that are, are uh, examples and standards for people when it comes to the newest trending hairstyles. Yes, you know how everything like old becomes new? Yeah, do I know? Uh -huh. <laughs> we all know that a little bit now. Yeah. So that's sort of what's happening right now in some of these trends. We're seeing some of the old becoming new, but of course it's a modernized a little bit, but sort of the concept, the ideas are there, and then we just take them and we kind of put our creative spin on what they are. As you can see, Dorothy Hamill, we all remember. Oh. Well, maybe my one model doesn't remember, but that classic Sassoon haircut, it's very clean, it's very precise, it's almost one length. And we're seeing that in the short hairstyles again. We got sleeker, we got smoother, whether it's short. Um, but in some of these also short hairstyles we're seeing as a playoff of that, we're seeing much choppiers. So combine that with the Rachel that used to be so popular when we had that sort of PC, very layered look, and that's what you're seeing now in short hair, like with my model right over here with the red hair. Okay. You're seeing the short, but you're combining that kind of PC and very layered look, but enough to make it creative and to move, and to give it some interest. And I think we have another example. Yes, we do have another example of also very famous hair. And that is going to be, look at Miss Whitney Houston there. Talk now, about iconic. Yes, talk about iconic. So we've taken that and we've um, done this away from the face, which was very 80s kind of inspired type of thing. It's like coming back more voluminous, almost like it's been hot rollered, been rollered, but away from the face and full, but away from the face. And we're seeing that with medium hair, long hair, but we're also seeing along that line very straight and smooth hair come back. Well, I'm glad you're including these good folks who've yeah. just been sitting there waiting yeah. to be recognized. Well, we wanted to encompass a lot, so we had three examples on TV, and I have two live examples, so we can kind of see what's really the hottest trending thing right now is the, the crappie short with the, the crappie PC with the short, and then now coming back into a more smooth, and we saw it a little bit when we were doing, when you've, if you've watched some of the Oscars or some of the award shows, yes. a little more sleek, softer, straighter, smoother, shinier, and now you saw a lot of center parts, but now we're also bringing back this very delicate side bang, um, softening off to the side, framing the side eye or maybe the cheekbone, but with the, not the really heavy side bang that we once saw, but this softer version, delicate version of the side bang. But Brenda, you so you're a master stylist. Are you recommending uh, short cropped hair for everybody? Well, you know what? Most people don't think they can wear it or women can wear it, but they really can. It's just finding that signature style for you of what you need to do as far as finding the perfect short croppy hairstyle for yourself. So it really has to be individualized and yeah. you have to have a relationship with your style. Exactly. So your stylist should be able to promote that and say, well, with your facial shape, with your skin structure, with your lifestyle, this would be the best version of this for you. So that's what we're seeing. And it's the same with the long. It's for her. She has very fine hair, actually. So we knew that in order, when we started to do something a little different with her bangs, we wanted to make it more in the delicate to match the texture of her hair, to match how it flows, and to match the fact that she doesn't have a lot of natural body in her hair. And so what we've come up with a nice PC framing that gives it just pops out her beautiful eye, her eyelashes, and her skin tone. And you know, there are folks that move in all the time to Phoenix, Arizona, yeah. and they've moved here from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, where right. the temperature alone will dictate how long your hair is going to be. Right. And with summer coming up, are there products that are unique? to people who live in Phoenix, Arizona for their comfort yes. and style. Yes, so in Phoenix, you know, our climate is very dry. So you always wanna think, I gotta rehydrate my hair, just like we have to rehydrate our skin. Mm -hmm. So I have some products here, um, like for example, this line, which has this patented ingredient in it, it's a nice bonder strengthener, revitalizer, it rejuvenates the hair and it keeps that moisture in the hair. Very important for out here. And then you have some really fun styling products that are not gonna be too drying, because that's really important as well. And you 
have some nice couple hairsprays, medium and heavy hold. Again, you don't want them to be too drying to the hair. And then what I love is when we can take a very natural product, something like this, it's very, it's an argon oil based. So you're just on dry hair, you're able, if you feel a little bit of that dryness, to kind of replenish that by just a couple of drops, putting it in your hands, and just like I have done here, and I just, I actually just brushed it all through her hair, and it ends up with a sleek, shiny, shiny look that we like, and it kind of keeps that moisture going in the hair as well. Yeah, my wife, who has short hair and always has in our 38 years of marriage, I love it. She calls it a pixie style. Yeah. But it's one of those things that just doesn't seem to go out of style. It doesn't. There's always there's always versions of it that kind of come and go. But you have very iconic people like Jamie Lee Curtis, for instance, who has worn it forever in a day, and now she's rocking it like with her natural white gray hair. And she wore it on the Oscars with um, her nice, lovely gown. So it goes with all things, every. Um, every type of dress you can say casual formal and it just never goes out of style It's just something that you can kind of vary with styling or with length and, and that's an really iconic, how you change it An iconic wife like my Duffy That's McMahon. right. Oh my and goodness. Brenda, I need to meet her. Brenda Dusso Master stylist and I thank you so much for being with us on thank, AZTV. Well, thank you Pat. It was so lovely like being able to do this with you <laughs>